Good morning, everybody. It is, what day is today? You are going to see this on April 30th. Happy last day of April, everybody. Um, we're going to, I'm going to draw using one of Alina Light's patterns today. We're going to pick from whatever's left. Let's mix this up a little bit. Oop, 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 oop. That one, whatever that one is, that is the one that wants to be today. Um, I still have, what do I have left? I've got one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, 18 more cards left from the first deck before we move on to deck number two. Um, I'm doing them this way just uh, just because one at a time, see what happens. And um, if you have any questions about Alina's decks of cards, her description is her link is in the description box below. Uh, what are we doing today? I've chosen this kind of a peachy pinky color for today. Bucky. Get down. Oh, so pretty. Okay, let me zoom in so you guys can see it nice and clear. So we can either do it in triangles or in diamond shapes. Look at her beautiful piece of mandala artwork, which it looks like she's got them in diamonds and in the in triangles also or just just in tri triangles and no diamonds looks like they're just in triangles but look at what happens when you turn them that's awesome i like that we will just play if we're doing it in triangles we do a muka coming up to toward the flat side and down into the corner and then we just do a little line here, a little line there, and a little line there into each corner. If we're doing it in a diamond shape, then we start the muka in one of the corners. We come up and around, right? And then same thing, one little line into each thing. This one doesn't go straight through like this. It goes over to the circle. And then you can do some rounding. These have rounding at the end, rounding and shading. If you want to, suppose you could even color that whole thing in, which would be pretty also, which I think is what she's done here. She's done some coloring in. Not 100% sure, it's kind of hard to tell and I, it's so tiny. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. It was going to have a hard, hard time. It's going to struggle with with focus. It looks like she's done a little bit of... That's just so pretty. Look at that. Just stunning. Mine won't be quite so accurate. But we will do what we do best here. Which is muddle a wall, right? I like the idea of making triangles. Where is my, where's my measuring device? I do, what happened to it? There it is, fell on the floor. Okay, let's, let's just figure out how big is this, this, is four and a bit by four. It's not quite square, but it's close enough to square. I'm gonna just gonna use it that way. I'm going to just go ahead and do a diagonal. And I'm gonna just make some triangles. Um, I'm gonna cough. 
I don't want to cough in you guys' ear. Excuse me. <coughs> All right. Get a drink of water. Once again, I want to remind you that the coldest water bottle people are still giving me a discount for you guys. So that link is also in the description box below. This one is the, I believe, 32 ounce one. Uh, they have bigger, they have smaller. It's my go-to water bottle in my studio. Keeps my water cold for a very long time. It's amazing. Uh, let's see. Let's make a little border. Quarter inch, half inch, whatever. Quarter inch, I guess that's quarter inch. Little quarter inch border. Just so I have something to work off of. And then. Let's do more triangles by splitting this up. this about half whatever half is what would half be about this way would be one inch so these ones would be one inch let's do And then this way, we will just go wherever this intersected. Why is it crooked? That's like way crooked. Huh. Okay, that's not going to work. Okay, whatever, whatever straight. Something like that. Something is not quite right. It's close enough. Is it close enough? I think so. So I think I'm going to do my uh, stems coming out of here. that and then out of here that's weird that that doesn't quite line up I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it line up no it's not quite right we're gonna make it line up right, split the difference here Make that line up. Just so your eye doesn't really quite notice. I think it's just because I didn't make a square. You know what? Let's 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 change this and make this a square to start with before I make anything else different. So I need to cut off that much. So let's do that. I cut right there. I want to make this a square. 
so I don't have this weird funky angle. So we're just going to cut that little bit off that is not square. Right there, that little bit. Don't mind my weird scissors. They are my crafting scissors. They are not very good, but the glue and all sorts of things. But they will do. All right, let's try this again. We're going to So how are you guys? Um, things are going better. If you guys were uh, praying for my mother, I want to thank you for that because she is getting better by the day. Every day my son goes to visit her at the rehab. Her, her smile is coming back. Her joking is coming back. Yeah, things things are getting better. Um, she's still not getting a whole lot to eat. She doesn't like the food there. Um, but her physical therapy is going well. Uh, she's able to get herself out of bed and into a wheelchair. Uh, that's all we can ask for, really, right? And... Um, She's in much less pain. The day we went to visit her last week, she was in so much pain. It just it just hurt my heart to to see her like that. It was it was really dreadful. Um, but she's much better now. And we will go down and visit again tomorrow. And it is my mother's birthday. And we really didn't want her to be in there on her birthday, but, you know, it is what it is. She she has to be there for a couple more days, um, at least through the weekend. Maybe be able to get home uh, on Monday. That's the goal. should be half. Okay, so, um, yeah, she should be home uh, at the end of the the next few days, couple of days, which is awesome. I am ever so grateful to everyone who has taken care of her. We're so grateful for you guys and your prayers. Everybody's prayers have been helping. And yes, by the time you see this, she will have been home for actually uh, quite some time, probably most of the month. Um, but your prayers still are useful. They're very useful. Okay. Do here, 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 and like that. Just planning out how I want my mukas to go. That's much better with a square. That's that's lining up better. Much happier with that. Okay, now do I want to draw that in ink? Yes, I guess I do. Okay, what color do I want to do today? Do I want to do black and white? Or do I want to do some kind of fun color today? I'm feeling blue. Let's do it in blue. That's pretty on this paper. be 
careful not to smudge, so I'm going to do them all. I've done that with the other one too. I'll turn it back. Turn it back like this. really appreciate having time to draw. Um, I was listening to a podcast yesterday about being still and how we don't do that enough in our culture. We, we're, we're so busy. We are such busy people that we don't take time to be still and to just... Um, sit with uh, with things. I want to see which direction did she do with this. She did them opposites. Yeah. yeah. So I want this one to come. I want to pay attention to which direction I'm going, so I'm actually going to draw this in. Do this way. This way. ones are going to go I think opposite this is just to give me a thought of how I want to do this. Yeah, I think that's good. They'll go toward each other. Is that what I want? Or do I want these to go the other way? Let me see. Let me see what that would look like if I do them the other way. kind of like that. Okay. We're going to do the other, the opposite way, which is what I said, but that's not what I actually did. So we're going to do it this way. I like that better. All right. But what was I saying? Being still. That um, as, as you spend your time doing your drawing, it's a wonderful way to, to be still and to just take those moments to just uh, get away from 
the noise and the bustle and the hustle of all the things that are going on around you. We just don't, we, we don't know how to be still anymore. We don't know how to take the time to just be quiet, to be with your own thoughts, to just even five minutes. You're constantly on the phone, listening to the radio, watching television. I mean, there's constantly just something happening, um, talking to other people. I mean, there's, there's no quiet time anymore. So I encourage you to take the time to, to be still with your thoughts. It's a good time to, to meditate. It's a good time to be alone with God, to listen. Don't, you don't have to talk to God. You can just sit and listen. And, and things will come to mind. Uh, maybe solutions to problems or... Uh, you'll suddenly get an urge to, you know, call your best friend or, um, you know, send somebody a card or make a cake or whatever you might get the urge to do. Um, and you'll know that that comes from deep within, in your soul to what you, you need to do at that moment. You know? What do you guys think? I think that's pretty. Just going to take a moment to be still. Let our thoughts just do what our thoughts are going to do. And just kind of sit. Somebody said that they weren't able to do that for more than they started when they started their, their daily process of just sitting and being still, that they found it very, very difficult to be with their own thoughts, very difficult to, uh, to just sit quietly. doesn't mean you don't think. It means you just sit quietly. And they were having a hard time doing it. He said that when he first started, uh, five minutes was excruciating. And now, uh, you know, 30, 40 minutes, an hour is not unheard of for him. There was another person he was talking to that, that said that, um, that that guy can't do like a daily ritual, a daily meditation, a daily prayer time. Um, that guy needs like longer stretches, less frequent, not every day. But he needs to take time, like, completely to get away. And I thought, well, maybe that's why I really love to cruise so much. Because, you know, you're out there on sea days. Yes, there's lots of things to do. But there's also opportunity for me. I just love to just sit on the balcony of my stateroom watching the sea go by. It's so relaxing, and I couldn't figure out why, and it's because I'm being still. I'm not doing. 
and and I think that's a real blessing to have that opportunity and it's not lost on me that I am extraordinarily blessed okay so now we want to do these lines let's start here I'm gonna go this way and that way and a little bit of rounding just like this and then this way and this way a little rounding just there way and this way with a little rounding right there wow that looks so different than that doesn't it it looks so much more complicated and it really wasn't hard to do that's crazy Love it. Love it. And then this one, in the four corners, you just kind of go this way and this way and this way and this way. Then you just do some rounding. right there just like that very pretty okay let's keep going with that Sorry for that cough again. Apparently I'm coughing today. Just like that. What's this one called? It's called Bucky. Okay. Look at how that looks so different from that. This is so pretty. This would be a really pretty, um, like, bathroom tile, wouldn't it? Watch is telling me I need to move it, move it. We're not going to move it, move it for a while. <coughs> I 
wonder if I want to um, leave the middle without the ornamentation of this last step. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go around all the edges first and see what I think. I might want to leave it so that there's a contrast between the middle and the edge. Should we do a question or should we just be still? Perhaps we should just be still. If you guys have anything you'd like me to talk about in future videos, don't hesitate to ask. Oh, that reminds me. I was asked to do a shading video. I will have to do that. I want to get my fingers in my ink. Gotta be careful which direction I'm going so I don't smudge. That is the only problem with using the gel pens instead of like the fine liner is that smudging is a distinct possibility. I have to keep track of how long my videos are so that I don't have to edit or uh, post them as two separate videos. I've done both of those things in the past. And my camera can only record for about an hour at a time, just a little under an hour, so I try to go to a maximum 55 minutes. We're only at 34 minutes. We're, we're good right now.
I think I'm going to do, I'm going to leave those rather than putting the lines. I think I'm going to just um, round where these come together. I'm going to do this. like that. Yeah. Good thing I like it because it's what I've done. And that way I still have some of this filled in, this darker contrasty color, but it's not part of Yeah, you, you see what it is. I am happy with that. I am happy with the way that is. I'm going to leave it just like that. I may do a bit of shading. Do I want to do any shading? Do I just want to do highlighting? And I'm going to start with highlighting. Why did I decide to highlight there? <coughs> I wanted to bring those forward up above the page. See how this is like flat? And then when I put the highlight, it pops it like it's above. That's the part I wanted it to be, look like it's standing up, up off the page. This is the part I wanted to bring our eye, bring our attention to. To, to highlight. You highlight the things you want to highlight. To bring attention, to highlight it. And that's really all there is to the highlighting, is to just bring attention to, to where you want your eye to, to just land. The, the light bits, the shiny bits, will look closer to you. The dark bits will look further away. The shadows. So really you just have to look at your thing and you say, what do you want to be closer to your eye? What do you want to go further from your eye? Sometimes that can be done with shadows, sometimes with highlights, sometimes with both. I think on this particular one, I don't think I want any the dark gray, the, the graphite color. I think I want it to be just a really light and bright and airy kind of tile.
just like that. And just like that, that white pops up. Now I could come in here and make a darker back here, but I don't need to because it's the white has popped up. So that that doesn't have to, it could go further back, but I think that's just enough. So I'm just going to leave it just like that. Uh, don't forget to sign it and give it a name, Bucky. There we go. That is today's video. That's pretty. It's delicate. I, I think this would make a really, really pretty custom tile in a bathroom. Just as a backsplash behind a sink, wouldn't that be beautiful in these colors? I mean, the pattern itself is beautiful, but I really like these colors together. Yeah. All right. Anybody want me to be a tile designer for them? Let me know. You guys have a blessed day. I will see you on the next video. Thank you for sharing your April with me. Um, month of May. Uh, I will still continue with two videos a week until at least Mother's Day, maybe a little longer. Um, I will just be, be getting back from... Uh, from vacation and uh, need to get my feet back under me I will have no idea what my vi what my uh, work schedule is going to be like and I suspect I'm going to have to hit the ground running and I will be very busy so um, it'll probably be a couple weeks before I can um, go back to three videos a week but we will see we will see all right, you have a blessed day. I will see you next time. And uh, go out and do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place one person at a time. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.